How can you be smiling? I wish there was someone here for me to yell at right now. That's how cranky and tired I am. Tell them, babe. Well, do you like big piles of things? No, I don't like big piles of books that Bruce overspends on. You're not even gonna get me to try to pretend I'm happy about that. What? Not even a little? You don't, you don't like big piles of like laundry? You know what? What I about big like piles of dishes? Big, what about big, big piles of money, that's it. Big piles of money, that's it. What about big piles of ice cream? No, because I wouldn't be able to eat that much. So it would just be melting, then I'd be mad about all the Alright, so the only thing there. you like is big piles of money. Yes. That's it. That's it. Alright. Alright, well, how about big piles of things happening on a Wednesday night, which means it's... Hump Day! Paul and Vlog! It is Paul and Vlog, guys! And it is new comic book day. That means it's uh, Wednesday, July 28th, 2021. I got there, took me a minute, I had to calculate the dates in my head. We got a lot of things coming up, guys. We're going to Disneyland pretty soon. Two weeks from tomorrow. Two weeks from tomorrow, it's right around the corner. Stephanie and I got like, I think, four, maybe three and a half hours of sleep last night. Wah! Maybe. Maybe. It was like, we went on Whack Comics channel last night. Uh, hello everyone, welcome to Whack fucking Whack Comics. We're here with my co-host Tyler and fucking Bruce and Stephanie. We're gonna do a Whack Hack and Stephanie's excited. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Today's whack hack. We're gonna teach you how to make a cup out of a comic book. I'm gonna have this <laughs> slabbed after. It tastes like failure and Keanu Reeves tears mixed <laughs> together. Delicious. <clears throat> had a lot and of fun. Had a lot of fun. A lot of a fun. A bunch of beers. We did. So we could have really used a good night's sleep, but our five year old was like, "Just kidding. I'm gonna wake up at 12:30, then at 1:45, then at 3:30, then at 4:45, and then our alarms went off at five o'clock in the morning." And it was tough. It was a tough night. But I have a headache. I'm so tired, and Bruce is very loud right next to me. <laughs> I'm still bringing the heat. I had five shots of espresso again. Um, before I picked up the kids, so I'm a little bit more energized than Stephanie, but Stephanie will still bring the sass. Because that's what she no, does. She no, brings the sass. Kids. Because it's it's Hall and Vlog, and we're Bruce and Stephanie. Are we? Bruce, Bruce and Stephanie Comics. Oh I, yeah, that's where we are. That's where we are, yep. And so the, on Hall and Vlog, we show off the books that we picked up on New Comic Book Day. This is the most money I've spent, period. Two weeks. No, this is the most money I've ever spent on New Comic Day outside of the one time that I bought that $100 comic. And then I sold that night for $250. But this is the most money I've ever spent uh, on comics. So I greatly regret that. And that, I, I get the email from Chuck for next week and I cut it down super, super small compared to what this is right here. Compared to what this is. <laughs> that was the disclaimer we got at the end. <laughs> but there's a lot of good books. There is some not safe for work covers in these stacks. So we're gonna cut open and check out the boobies. So I'm excited to do that. We got a giveaway to do because we do a giveaway every single week, right? We do. Despite the fact that you don't deserve it. What? They don't deserve it? No. Nope. What? No soup for you. <laughs> Guys, we do a giveaway every single week. And last week's winner was from the Netherlands. And he How said, cool is that? He was like, you know what? I don't want you to send it to me. I don't want to pay for shipping. I don't want to give it to anyone else. I just want you to roll it over for the winner of next week. So you guys are going to win this book this week. Big Girls, the trade paperback. Really good book. But then you guys got the video up over 170 views this last week. You guys are really crushing it. Congratulations. So you, so you got three books plus two more because I ordered a bunch of trades for giveaways, but they hadn't come yet. So I had to pick out some singles for you guys. Single bangle, you know, my chair is so squeaky. I hate it. But last night on uh, Wack Comics, um, I think Tyler talked about home. He did. So we got home issue number one, issue number two, Issue number three. What? And a new book came out today. It was I um, was pretty excited about. Sweet Paprika, number one, the art germ cover, the trade dress. Trade dress means that the title is on it. And then the virgin cover. I've actually heard of this book, so I guess people are excited about it if I've heard about Look it. Look at the cans on this girl. Nipples she, are all she perky. She looks like a cat goat. Yeah, it's a, it's a book about demons and angels. I read it today because I wanted to see if it was any good and it was good. It was pretty good. It wasn't great. It wasn't amazing. Had a lot of sexual content and I'm going to say I liked it. I liked sexual content. I was like, I kind of dig that. All right, let's talk about some sex. But it was good. It was really good. But um, do we have anything else to talk about before we get into the haul? 
Yes. I forgot to tell the people what to do. Oh, how do you, yeah, how do you enter to get into this contest? Oh my God. Let's see, that's the tire kicking in, guys. I forget this, forget about the, you know, the steps of the video. So what, what do you have to do? Tell them, babe. To be entered into this week's giveaway, you had to have invented a time machine and went back to last week's video, watched it, subscribed, liked it, and then commented on the video. It's true. But if you'd like to be part of next week's giveaway. And who knows what it's gonna be? Nobody, nobody. You can like this video, be subscribed to our channel, and comment. Is I told you guys to do comment? good comments that make me laugh, and only one person <laughs> was capable of that. I believe it was Stephen Hayner. Oh, it was Stephen Hayner. And he told us a pretty funny joke, and I laughed, and... Oh, Frankie? He was the only one! So I don't want to be disappointed by you again. So tell me a sad comment. Ooh. I know you're probably capable of that. Wow, that is sad. She is she is snarky and she wants some sadness, <laughs> I guess. Uh, but that's what you guys gotta do to get entered into next week's giveaway. Like Stephanie said, you would have to jump into a time machine and leave a comment and I would have had to already enter it into the wheel because the wheel is already made. It's gone, guys. I spun it already, I won. So yeah, it's like, you know, we're leading up to Disneyland. We got a lot of stuff going on. We've got Wax Comics. Next week, we got Joe Mulvey coming on the show, which is really excited. Joe Mulvey and Rich Dueck. Um, they're talking about Happy Hill. Happy Hill is a new book. It's on Kickstarter right now. I'll leave a link down in the comments or the description below. So if you guys want to check out that Kickstarter. Can you turn this on? Yes, that is on. All right, just making sure. All right, guys, but let's not waste any more time. Let's dive in to what we picked up this week because there's a lot of stuff to go over, a lot of stuff for Stephanie to yell about. I can't wait. And some not, not safe for work covers to open up. So let's do it. Well, so Bruce is apparently starved for sexual content, <laughs> so he's really excited about this. Each and every single week, we go over DC Marvel. Bindi. Bindi Irwin. Bindi Irwin, and that means independent comic books, guys. So, we always start with reprints. If there are reprints that I picked up for DC Marvel if Indie. If he picked them up. If there's a reprint, Bruce picked it up. So, first one up is Nightwing, number 78, the third print with an amazing cover by Riley Russimo, which has the new uh, dog, Haley, on it, which I like to call Bitewing instead of Nightwing. And it's amazing. She's a three-legged dog. She's so cute and adorable. And Riley Russo's artwork is just it's on point. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. He's doing Harley Quinn right now. It's such a good book. But that is... The definitely... dog is the only part that's well drawn on this. Look at how dumb Nightwing's face looks. Well, that's a, that's your opinion. I really enjoyed Riley Russo's artwork. So, really Riley dumb. Russo. Next up, we have Checkmate number two. Who is... Demon Rose. Damon Rose. Damon. Haven't read this yet, but I did like um, the other book that was before this one. It wasn't called Checkmate. I forgot what it was called, but it was really good. Um, I'm really excited about this next book. Um, one thing I'm really bummed about, I checked a lot of the spines and corners on this book. I had the stack of books. It was, I was trying to go through it really fast at the shop uh, so that way I can get out of there and get back to work. Um, there's like scuffs and dings and on stuff on a lot of these books, and I was really upset with myself that I didn't inspect them thoroughly. Okay, the corner on this is pretty beat up. But it's Infinite Frontier number three. I was gonna say two, but it's three. Gorgeous cover by Mitch Gerard. I was super excited to get this. So that is the next book. And then we have Teen Titans Academy number five. This is a really good book. You guys should be reading Teen Titans Academy. It's a really fun story. Um, I like where they're going with every, everything. It's not so much Strange Academy like I was hoping it was going to be, but they are doing a really good tale with Red X. Um, next up, we have Detective Comics number 1040 or 1040. Again, Mariko Tamaki is crushing it. She's doing such a good story. Um, then we have Robin number four, a really awesome cover. I got the B cover. This has Ravenger on the cover. It's just a gorgeous cover. And Robin's been a solid read. Not amazing, but solid. I, I like it. And then I'm following Damian Wayne. Damian Wayne's the best. I approve of this cover. Oh, oh, oh right. You're allowed to have this cover, but don't take, don't buy the whole comic book. Just rip the co <laughs> cover off. <laughs> like, I'm joking. Yeah, says you can't. She can't do it because she knows you have to buy the whole thing. Don't buy the whole thing, rip the cover off. There you go. Next That's up, we better. have Harley Quinn number five. Again, this is a great book. Again, drawn by Riley Russimo. And I think he does an excellent job with this book. They drew you as Batman. This is adorable. Aw. It's actually a little Vandal Savage. Next up. Last book for DC is Superman, Son of Kal-El, number one, the cover ready. I watched Bruce's video of when he talked about this book like 17 times, and- <laughs> talking about a lot. 
he kind of made me want to read it. I think I might read my first superhero book and let this be it. Well, you've read superhero books before that. Your first kind superhero of, book in a long kind time. Kind of. Uh, Chuck did not have the one in 25 for me. Someone else had claimed it before I put in my order for it, which is a bummer, which means I'll have to go online and pick it up at some point. But again, I spent way too much money on the comic book shop today. Uh, so those are the DC books. We're moving right into Marvel. And the first book up is Shang-Chi number three. I bought this purely on spec. Um, there is a first appearance of his sister in here who is a mutant um, and the new Shang-Chi movie is coming out and they are introducing mutants into the MCU so I thought that was a good purchase. So I'm going to just put it in a box and see what happens. Um, next up we have Daredevil number 32. This continues to be a decent read but it is kind of like falling flat. Um, so we'll keep buying it, don't worry. I gotta see what the story don't goes. Worry. I'm 32 issues in, I gotta see it through to the end. Um, next up is Black Widow number nine. I just read number eight today. This book is so good. Kelly Thompson is doing such a great job. Anyone who says differently, I think um, you will have lost your marbles. I hear Frank Whoa. fighting with the cats outside. Uh, but yeah, Black Widow number nine. I talked about this on my covers videos. I think it's just an absolutely gorgeous cover. And again, another cover that was ruined that I should have caught before um, buying it. You'll see like the color rub right there, but this is cover B, um, the Captain America 80th anniversary issue. Again, I think it's a great cover, but I'm just bummed that mine, mine is kind of ruined. But ruined. Uh, oh, I don't even need it. I'm gonna rip it up. No, don't do that. We don't need it anymore. It's ruined. Uh, next up is Beta Ray Bill. This is the last book uh, of the series, so it's a five issue mini series, and this is the final issue. I read issue number four today. Again, Beta Ray Bill, or the other night, um, and it's just a great story. It's a really good story. I'm excited to see where it ends. So those are all the Marvel books. Now we have a gigantic stack of books uh, of indies to go through. Um, there are a lot of multiple covers and things like that. That's why the stack is so big. But diving right in, um, I ordered um, these books, these first two from Behemoth Comics a while ago. Um, so we have um, You Promised Me Darkness, issue number one, the second print. I think that's cover B, and this is cover A of the first, number one, the second print. Um, and then we have Department of Truth, the sixth print. Oh my God. I, I wish there was a window close enough that I could just throw this out of it. I'm gonna hire a falcon to fly in here so it can pick up these books that make me enraged. Enraged? And make, at least make a bird's nest out of them so they're doing some good <laughs> for this world. Um, next up, we have Barbaric number one, the second print of the black and white. Why? Because Barbaric is really good, in my opinion. I really like that black and white cover. And then we have number one, the Not Safe for Work cover. Oh my God, finally. So, you want to open it up now or at the end? We'll open it at the end. At the end. So, that's, we'll leave this right here. Um, then we have Spawn number 320. I only got one because I didn't really like the other covers. Um, Scumbag number nine. Again, this book is really, really good. I'm all caught up. I love that book. Um, Shadow Service um, from Vault Comics number 10. I read number nine today. This book is gotten better and better with every single issue. I'd say the one caveat I have with this book is that I don't love the artwork, but the story itself, I can 100% this becoming um, a TV show. It's really, really good. Um, vinyl number two, vinyl number one was awesome. If you guys haven't read vinyl yet, I, I believe I put this in your box. Um, it's going to be a very creepy horror story and I'm, I'm excited to, to follow up and read the rest of this. I'm gonna say you didn't put it in my box because I didn't see it. I, did, I just read this like yesterday. Um, Stephanie told me that she is so excited to read this book. Um, I only have one copy so she can't rip it up and piss on it like she promised we do Issue number one, but we have Berserker number four. Cover it. There's a bunch of covers and I'm gonna cover it. Uh, I'm too tired to rage about how I feel about that book. Um, and then the next book up is Department of Truth number 11. Again, there's a bunch of covers, but I just went with cover A. Um, I don't really love that cover, but what are you gonna are do? Are you caught up on this book? I have one over there. Um, next up on the last book you'll ever read number one um chuck at the owner of the shop read that already and he loved it he said it was his pick of the week whoa from vault comics whoa um the and last book i'll read though so he's done he's done he's no. not reading anymore uh this is you promised me dark darkness number four i read three today um this series has gotten is is a great series in my opinion that's cover a cover b 
in cover C. This is the cover that I like the most. I think it's awesome. Uh, back to Barbaric, because Barbaric issue number two came out today. We got cover A. Oh my god, this chick that they have in Barbaric is so gross looking. She's she looks so like cool. a man with girl hair, kind of. Not even girl hair, I don't know, but she has, she has a face that only a mother could love. <laughs> what do you think of cover B? I'm very interested, because I think it's gorgeous. Gorgeous? Gorgeous. Like the colors, the colors are just amazing. It pop. It's know. very like 80s tie dye t shirt. I'll give it that. That's what she gives it. That's what she gives it. I don't know. I loved it. That's what I love. I love that cover. Um, then we issue Bruce two. Bruce loves every cover, every book. Have we heard him say not one bad thing? Not safe for work. Not once. Issue one reprint, not safe for work. Issue number two, not safe for work. Double boobies, guys. Get excited. Uh, and then we got Sweet Paprika. Um, we already kind of shown these off, but this is uh, the Art Germ trade dress, the Art Germ Virgin. And then the Not Safe for Work! Perfect. More boobies! I'm glad that Bruce is really upset that he's overspent on books today, but got three smut books. <laughs> <laughs> and I saved this. Uh, well, actually, we'll do this one, and then we'll do the next one for last. Uh, this is last one, number three, the second print. But this last book, I'm super excited to read. I know Stephanie is as well. I don't think she knew it was coming out today, but this is Something is Killing the Children, number 18. The latest Amber, book. This is really the only book I will read out of this giant stack. But there was a lot of variant covers and stuff in that pile. So before we jump into the wheel, let's see some boobies. You have to blur them out anyway. I do, but we can see them. We can enjoy them and tell everyone how great the covers are. I hope they're lopsided and the nipples are made of pepperoni. <laughs> Pepperoni nipples. <laughs> All right, babe. First one, sweet paprika. What do you think? Are they lopsided? They're very. They're drawn very weird. The comic. The comic has a very cartoony. If you open it up, you can. It's you... Very strangely drawn boobies. <laughs> Uh, maybe they were like, like they were like, imagine like a rolling pin <laughs> was rolled over them for a little bit. So you don't like those ones? I mean, just like lift them up a little bit. This is like, I guess, a, a single mom, Sweet Paprika. She had like three kids and her boobs have seen better days. Oh, wow. Uh, this one's very, very different than the, the first issue, but this is issue number one, second print, the Not Safe for Work edition. I forgot what the first one was, but it was definitely, there wasn't that many ladies on the cover. And there's really only one set of boobies that you can see. Kind of. Looks how weird, like, is she grabbing it and pulling it this way? <laughs> I don't know. And then his face is like, he's looking at her private parts, but he doesn't know what's happening. Like, he's like, oh my God, she's a man. <laughs> uh, issue number two. Oh, you can barely see anything in this one. I don't know why that one needed a, I guess because you see a There's little a nipple. nipple. There's side boob. Oh, side boob and nipple, that's why, in a butt. This is the nicest one out of all of them. This yeah, I This is the only agree. one I approve of. That's the only one. So the second issue number two, the uh, not to say for work is what Stephanie approves. Now it's time for the wheel. Whee! Wow, way too much energy. All right guys, so uh, if you guys are Internet, or you live in international countries, like not in the United States of America. That was really difficult. I don't know why it was so hard for me to say that, but um, here are your options if you guys do win. You guys, you yourselves can pay for shipping. We will ship these books to you. You could AOK -okay them to someone in the United States of America, or you could um, take a monetary sum um, of the five single covers or single issues that we picked up today, not the trade. The trade was from last week, uh, but you can take some money um, from us into your PayPal account. Did I miss anything? You can roll them over till next week. Oh, you can roll them over till next week because that's happened multiple times. There was a huge stack at one point and James Gallegos won. Of course he did. It's a wrench of all wrenches. Okay, time to see who won. Somebody always puts her head on my butt. I'm sorry, I like your butt. <laughs> it's a good butt. I work out, guys. I do squats. I do squats. Oh, it's a long one. Is it Ignacio? It is. It's Ignacio. 
Dio Maglia. Dio Maglia. Ignacio is in Argentina. So what's he going to do? It like every time we have a winner, it's someone who's international. <laughs> so Ignacio, congratulations. Even though last time you told me, don't put me on the wheel. I don't want to win. Well, we're going to put you on the wheel. Because we can send you money, bro. Or... Or... Create a fake YouTube account, comment, and then delete the YouTube account immediately. And then you can't win because we're like, who was this? They never replied back to our comment. We don't know. And we just automatically roll it over to the next week. That's a really difficult way to do what I was just saying. <laughs> just like, we'll give you money, bro. Oh, that was a big haul. I'm really sweaty because I sweat so much all it the time now. It is very warm in here. I am very hot. Very hot. I mean, I'm sitting next to the most hot woman in the world, so. He's talking about this cover that we're sitting next to. <laughs> I am not. <laughs> Guys, that's haul in vlog. Wednesday, July 28th, 2021. You're welcome. Um, and I yeah, we'll see you on Friday because today is Thursday for you guys. We'll see you on Friday for the end of the month giveaway a slab. A slab and some money and some other gifts that are going to be given out throughout the hour. Did you get the slab? I did not. I, you know how many times I reminded him this month to get the slab? Do it now. Do it early. Do I it before forgot. every day. So I'll figure something out. Don't worry about it, guys. You're still going to get gonna a slab. going to give you guys one of these slabs. No, that's yeah. not happening. Yes. No. Slab. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you're not subscribed, make sure you guys get yourself subscribed. Hit the like button. Hit it hard. It deserves it. It was bad today. Punch it. Punch it. Right in the throat. And don't forget to hit the bell for notifications. When we, you guys want to be notified when we post videos. And that's every Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. And we sprinkle. We, we. Other videos in there as well. We, yes. we, we. All right, guys, have a great evening, great day, great lunch, whatever you're watching this video. And we'll catch you guys in the next great one. Great poop, what if you're pooping? Mm, a lot of people watch videos when they poop. All right, guys, catch you in the next one. Peace.